here in America, we have a big problem with stolen guns. Over 100,000 guns are stolen every year in America, but the troubling piece is not that the foolishness of the thieves to steal these guns. It's the foolishness of the victims of these stolen guns that's so incredibly disturbing. 80% of guns stolen in the U.S. could be totally avoided outside of the foolishness of the gun owners themselves because 80% of guns stolen are being stolen out of parked cars. Now, this is sheer ignorance. I strongly believe that if you're going to be a responsible gun owner, that gun should always at 100% of the time be on you or locked away in a safe. It's meaning it should be personally on your body or locked away in a safe. To leave a gun unsecured in a car is sheer foolishness. Now, we've done videos where we understand that there's times you have to leave a gun in a car. You might have a gun on you and you go to a place that doesn't allow guns. Therefore, you'd have to leave it in the car. Well, there's safes you can buy for your car. You know, I'm going to recommend one. I'll put the link below, MagSafe. We have one installed in the trunk of all of our cars. They're so incredibly affordable. If I pull up to somewhere and I have to leave my gun locked away in my car, it's going to be in a safe secured to the steel structure of the car itself. So it can't be stolen. I mean, I'm sure if somebody wants, I mean, they'll steal the car, I guess. But in the end, they're going to pick an easier target. And the worst part is that a vast majority of these guns have also been advertised that there's a gun in my car. Come steal it. By putting little stickers on the back, like protected by Smith & Wesson or a little SIG sticker or uh, come and take it sticker. And guess what? They're going to come and take it. Because what they do is they, they go to uh, primarily large events like sporting events, concerts, and they'll drive around the parking lot looking for those little stickers in the back window, knowing that you probably left that gun in your car because you could not bring it in that venue. And they're literally targeting you specifically because of your foolishness and your ignorance. Um, this is a big problem. And I don't blame the thieves. I blame you folks that are just foolishly leaving your, your guns in your car. And then the ones that are worse are the ones that are actually advertising, hey, I've left a gun in my car by putting a stupid sticker on the back of your window. So there you go. 80% of guns stolen in America are stolen out of parked cars. Those of you who have had guns stolen in cars, you should be ashamed of yourself. That's sheer stupidity, and I guarantee you are. I guarantee when you woke up and you went out to your car, or you came out of that venue and you went to your car, and you realized your car had been broken in and your gun was stolen, I guarantee you thought, well, that was stupid of me to leave that out of my car. But apparently 80% of stolen guns, over 100,000 guns stolen every year, just your foolishness. Any thoughts or insight, definitely put that below. We'll put the link to those safes below, you know, because again, I understand sometimes you've got to leave your, your gun in your car, but we've done videos on how to securely do that. Any thoughts, put it below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Feel called to support this channel with Patreon. The link is also below. But the most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.